episode of Pity Fishing. I am in Donegal, a windy one, a wet one, a crazy one. I am on Dunry Head. This is Dunry Fort. Built by the English. It has a twin across the other side of Loch Swilly to guard the entrance here. It used to be a, a mooring or a harbour or an anchorage for their destroyers, battleships. And this is where I caught my best conger eel, 35 pounds all told. It was down there where those lunatics are about to go swim. Yes it was. That's where I'm going to fish tonight. Do I beat my best? Do I even catch a damn fish? Who knows? The next time I turn the camera on, I'm going to be down there and I'm going to be fishing. That's right. As promised, down here was up there. Wipe your face again, you got stuff on your face as usual. Clean yourselves up, that's all I have to say. Yeah, the weather's been pretty rough. All around, I reckon. North, south, west, wherever else there, you can't go. It's not so bad there as well. This is what it looks like, because it gets dark, you're not going to be able to see. That's it. Yeah. And there's lots of eels here. <laughs> yes, there is. So, uh, let's do a bit of fishing. Yeah, so we get a bait on. I mean, it's, it's not really rocket science, you know. It's the rig. I like to keep it short down here. This is this, this mark is extremely snaggy. So that's where it's going on there. So I'm going to do skin side in, I reckon. I'm going to wrap it before I put it on. Just to make life easier on myself. And I'll give somewhere for the hook to hold as well. We'll do a lot around the top there where the carry hook goes. That's the first one. And goes the second one. That's it. Whip the crap out of it. Really, I'm just scrambling to get a bait in the water. <laughs> right now. So that's it there. That's the first bait. I got squid as well. I'm going to use squid as well. See if the beggars can get that off in one bite. Yeah, we got a cast in the water. We got it uh, settled in. It's already settled in. Not so many Neil's got it already. Right. So we do the rods and the reel. I got two reels with me. One to whip out just in case someone goes horribly wrong with the other one. One rod. Rod is a uh, Century E1000 Eliminator. The reel is the pen talk 100. It's loaded with 50 pound main line and 100 pound four strand leader. So far, it's working really well for reels. I am having no trouble with this in rough ground, no matter what I do. Close in, far out, I don't care. Right, all oh, the, the mono guys. I was a mono guy once. Mono's good for a few things. One of them is sliding the bait. That's what I use it for nowadays. And rigs and stuff like that. Basically, I think. So I have bait for eight or nine casts, maybe ten, and that's it. And if there's a lot of straps around tonight, I'm going to have a short fit session anyway. They just destroy baits. They just destroy them, especially mackerel. I had some cuttle fish the other night. Just the amount of eels, just crazy. But could I land one? Not a chance. Not a chance. It's the way it goes sometimes with them. Yeah, caught a real big one. <laughs> bit through 150 pound line but holy crap he was pulling <laughs> must have been some fish well i'm not sure if i wanted that one up in the pier yeah of course i did yeah we see we see what happens i don't know about the beast that bites through 150 pound mono but how could i say no <laughs> It'd be rude really wouldn't it yeah so uh yeah hang tight look at this crap oh. let's see if we get neil yeah the rig is uh, the one, the rig build, which I will link in the description. Okay, it's just my conger trace. You don't need to cast far. Don't drop it down the edge of the pier. It's no good for eels. They are there. They pick it up, but they swim into the pier and you'll never get them back out. So if you just throw it eight, nine meters, feet, whatever, just away from the thing. I like to throw them about 10 meters or something like that. The bigger reels aren't as afraid as the smaller reels and they'll go out into the open so it's a way of uh, whittling out a better reel anyway and instead of a rod rest i got this yoke i have two i carry them on my bag i put it in the video as well i'll link that in the description as well that video is pretty cool i like it had a lot of fun making it 
It's called Billy's Top 5 Tip. Some rubbish like that anyway. Oh, uh, we just got hit by a nail. I'm going to tighten and open it. Unfortunately, it's so windy, I didn't really see the bite, so. But I noticed the line going slack. Yeah, we got him. Yeah, we got him. Oh. Yeah, we got him. It's a nice fish. But the pump really short. It's really nice. Fighting really hard. Ah, oh, here he comes. <laughs> He's gone mental. Ah, oh, there you go, mental. Same down there. Woo, same spins. <laughs> we go and get him. This is a decent fish. It's down here. He's gonna lift him. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Give him seven, maybe. There's the first one there. That was seven, six, seven, I'd say. Get him back. Anyway, back in the drink for Mr. Conger. He's gone anyway. <laughs> nice. So right, that's the next bait there. Uh half a macro and a squid. That's it there. I'm not messing around. I'm trying to catch the biggest fish I can. And the bigger the bait, the harder it is for the small lads to get it in their face. I don't want to mess around catching fish just for a video. So many videos I have deleted. I'm trying to catch the best fish I can, always. And so, no tow for me. Well, maybe I'll get a conger reel. I have one now, so if I had a caught a small tow, I would have posted that one as well. But when I was in Norway, the entire time when I was in the halibut country, I was fishing for halibut. You don't see much of that. You see a few cod that fell to the jig, but you haven't seen the eight hours, seven hours I spent with no fish whatsoever. Just with huge jigs on trying to catch a monster same with the tote fishing giant half mackerel baits not small mackerel large mackerel you know cast 100 meters fishing for tote that's what i was doing but i didn't get one and now it's coming to an end so now i'm going to fish for all the stuff i could have caught in the summer but it's better to fish for tote while you got the weather for it so now i'm going to get a few eels and stuff right so i always try absolutely all the way there huge hooks huge baits trying to catch the biggest fish i can it's the way i like it this is what we got this is what we're going to do so we're going to get this next bait out and we're going to clean your face afterwards because you're all covered in rain and we're going to see if we catch another one anyway oh the weather is posse that's right i said it posse and that's exactly what it oh we got no lead weight <laughs> we can't fish without that so we've got lead weight on now shut up i know what i'm doing so here we go second cast that was first cast fish nice So, fishing still though, I'm fishing still. So get this guy settled in. There we go. Let's see what we get this time. <laughs> Despite the, w the wind and everything else, we just got a fish on and it's heading off at my bait, as you can probably hear. Oh, Jesus. Well, I've got him anyway. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, I think this might be my fish. Oh, turn that rotches off. Oh no, it's come off. No. Here he comes. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, he's a beast. <laughs> Look at him there. Oh, Jesus. I'm in trouble now, boys. Holy crap. This one's a double anyway. It's trashing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's come off. Damn. Damn. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Messing around with gear, man. 
Ah, oh, that was 12, 13 pounds that fish anyway. I could have landed that man. There's stuff on your face. The weather is brutal. Yeah, I'm gonna try again. That was a decent fish, that one. Yeah, so I'm gonna try again. What a load of. Anyway, give me a break, man. <laughs> Trying to clean these up anyway. I hope you can see. I can barely see. Yeah, I lost the fish, but it was good fun while I had it, right? <laughs> Didn't get it up to the camera, but the night is young yet. So we fish on, brothers and sisters, see if we can get that monster. So that's the next one. Another whole fillet and a whole squid. The rain has passed, thank God. That was brutal, man. I don't know if you can see or not, but anyway, here goes the next bait. Here it goes. That's my spot. Loads of eels there. So, <laughs> this is the last bait now. I've lost so many rigs. <laughs> yep, that's the last one. Do we get a fishy? Quite a lump. So you get the big boys. Stop the little lads and get them. It's simple. Anyway, out we go. Down, down it goes. If it catches Billy a monster, conger. Nobody knows. So we settle in the last one. <laughs> Hope there's not a fish already. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that I'm soaking wet. <laughs> and pretty soon I'm gonna get cold as well, so it's just as well we're running out of rigs. I stay as long as the bait does, right? Simple as that. What do you mean you stay longer? You wouldn't you? <laughs> we got a fish, but that didn't take it for a second. And it's heading out to sea with it. So I'm gonna jump on it. It's so hard to say what you should do. Should you wait? What's the story, you know? This this is a big eel, so I'm not waiting. Oh bloody hell! We got him, we got him, we got him. Oh. Oh. oh, it's off. Bloody hell. Oh, look at the bait. I still got the rig. Okay. Because this is my channel, I have changed my mind. I'm going to have one more. I still got the rig. So there's no reason to stop fishing apart from I'm soaking wet, but I'm already wet. I'm not going to get any more wet. Wet's wet, right? So I'm gonna do one more, one more. And we're gonna see if we can get a better fish out of here. That one wasn't bad, like not bad. You know, it's not a 20 pound or, or 15 or a 30, so. <laughs> not last cast. <laughs> Maybe this one is. So this is the last bait now. That's it there, some squid and mackerel. Nice sticky out hooks and stuff. Yes, we get in the sea, see if we catch a fishy. Last cast again. Bloody ratchet. Out it goes. Down, down it goes. Catches Billy, a last cast monster. Nobody knows. Now there's a little um, drop off and casting into there. It's a little bit more than four meters, which is what the average depth here is. But it's about seven or something. And the big eels seem to be in there, or around it anyway. <laughs> Everything's a bit slippy. Covered in fish and nasty. So we gotta settle in. See if we get a fish. Oh I'm not even getting bites off these fish, they're just grabbing the baits and swimming off of them. I'm gonna let this guy take it. Well, he seems to have stopped now. That's not good. <laughs> I wanted to do that. Right. Yeah, we got him. Oh, Jesus. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, this thing's a monster if I get it in. Oh, here he comes. 
Oh no. Oh lordy. <laughs> Last cast fish. Oh, it was a beast. The water's open now. I was gonna pick them up and put them on the pier. Oh, don't throw that hook. Don't. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh. <laughs> He's not happy. Let's try in the gap. It's a nice one. Man, they pull. <laughs> That's my boy there. I don't know. Oh, gee. I gave him 11, 12. Never do. Wow. So, there we go. That's it for me. <laughs> Whew. So, we get it back in the drink. Anyway, here's my Congaree friend. <laughs> there he goes. Goodbye. <laughs> it has been quite a night. It's been quite a night. Soaking wet now. Rain clothes are only good for a certain amount of hours and a certain type of rain. So, I'm Billy. This is Billy and Tony Gall. This is Billy catching eels. Wherever you are in the world, remember. I'll see you on the beach. Bye.